two weeks is a long time in royal reporting. Uh, two weeks ago, uh, the papers were united in not publishing a photograph of the Princess of Wales being driven by her mother through Windsor Great Park. Uh, today, uh, two newspapers uh, publish uh, photographs, screen grabs taken from this video taken at, at a farm shop. Uh, why was there this self-denying ordinance before? Why was it that the newspapers would not publish uh, photographs taken of the royal family in their downtime, in their private time? Well, that stems from September the 6th, 1997, when Earl Charles Spencer uh, climbed the steps into the pulpit at Westminster Abbey and delivered his most historic, wonderful uh, eulogy to his sister who was lying in a coffin in front of him. And during that, he said that Diana, the huntress of classical mythology, had become Diana the hunted. And uh, newspaper editors were in the congregation that day. They'd all heaved a huge sigh of relief that there were no British photographers in the pack of wolves that chased Diana and Dodi Al Fayed and their chauffeur Henri Paul to their deaths in the Alma Tunnel. And after that, they resolved not to use photographs of this kind. Now, you have to ask yourself now, Isabel, why has this changed? Well, it's changed because of the trolling and the appalling and vile and frankly mad uh, rubbish. That Michael, but Michael, has, are uh, you saying that the, the prince and the princess would have given their permission for these pictures, these images to be shown today? It's a very interesting question. I've spent a long part of my life uh, filming people and filming. Uh, and you have to ask yourself, and I've looked at that film, uh, do they know that they're being filmed? Can you tell? Uh, what do you feel about it? Now, there you are. We're glad to see her smiling. Uh, she's uh, looking a little bit pale. Not, not surprising. She underwent major surgery two months ago. She's carrying a bag. Uh, uh, does that show you? Do, were, they, were they complicit in this? I, I, I find it difficult to, to judge. But certainly, this serves a purpose. According to uh, the thinking, I'm sure, at Kensington Palace to answer uh, some of these outlandish theories and, and rumours and allegations. But Michael, that have been, yeah. let's assume they did give their blessing because heaven forbid they didn't. You know, what we're seeing, as you've described so eloquently, is this return of this huge hunger and appetite for pictures of the Princess of Wales. William will tell you himself the impact that had on his life. Nobody wants to see a return of that. I was very worried to see these pictures on the front of a national newspaper this morning. Let's hope that the palace gave their permission to them. Well, it's interesting uh, how they're handling it. I actually think that... Um, uh, the press office at Kensington Palace has been batting zero throughout this whole thing because the fake photo fiasco should not have happened if there had been good staff work. There are highly paid PR professionals at K Kensington Palace who should have stopped that ever happening. And what is happening now, Isabel, is that certain favoured journalists are being briefed that uh, in due course, the princess in a informal situation with members of the public will talk about her illness and i'm afraid what this happened what happens is because of these leaks and there we see her in much happier times of course and that's what we want to see return her to full health uh, because of these leaks and because of these photographs i'm afraid it gives uh, more grist to the mill, the rumour mills. I mean, what is required, I think, and it's quite simple, you don't have to go into great detail, but there needs to be a proper official health bulletin saying what is wrong. People are immensely supportive. Uh, they are highly sympathetic. And as the princess has known and, and has said, she ha enjoys tremendous goodwill among people. She's extraordinarily popular. And I think to set these matters at rest and to give her the space and the time uh, to recover properly, a simple statement saying in outline what the problem is will solve a lot of these problems. That's my view. If I were there and I've walked both sides of the PR uh, journalism street, that's what I would be advising. And if I'd been there on Sunday, the Sunday of that uh, terrible photograph fiasco, 
uh, I would have hung my head in shame because people who are paid highly prevent that sort of thing happening. Didn't do their job. They were asleep at the wheel.